another breaking news update. We are waiting to hear from police in the murders of eight people in Joliet. Police say the suspect shot and killed himself in Texas after a manhunt by multiple law enforcement agencies. CBS 2's Mugo Adigwe has new details. Joliet police say they might give us an update about this case sometime today. We're still waiting to hear more from them, but we know this case involves three different locations. It happened over a span of two days in Joliet. As you mentioned, that suspect was found dead 1200 miles away in Texas last night. According to Joliet police, the investigation started on Sunday night after two separate shootings, one of those shootings deadly. The common link, a red Toyota Camry. The car was registered to the suspect, 23-year-old Romeo Nance. Deputies traced the registration to a home on the 2200 block of West Acres Road. They set up surveillance in the area in case Nance came back, but on Monday, Investigators made a horrific discovery. Two people were found dead inside a house on Acres Road and across the street where police say relatives of those two victims lived. Five more people were also found shot to death. Investigators still haven't said if those are Nance's family members, only that they are known to Nance. Now, around 830 yesterday evening, Juliet police learned Nance had been spotted by U.S. Marshals in Natalia, Texas, about 30 miles southwest of San Antonio. He was found in a car at this Valero gas station. Here's how authorities describe what happened next. Called and how we got into this was a possible pursuit coming out of Bear County and uh, it ended up here and at this location, the uh, suspect of multiple homicides was uh, basically cornered. And at that, at some point in there, he, uh, he took his own life. So that's kind of where we're at. Police in Texas wouldn't say if there was any exchange of gunfire. But again, we are waiting to see if Joliet police will have an update on this case for us sometime today. We'll keep you updated. In Joliet, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News. Mugo, we've just learned that police in Joliet will hold a news conference at 2 o'clock to give us that update. That will be carried live on our stream, cbschicago.com.